What is going on, guys? Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to H1Z1. What the hell is going on down here? I keep hearing something shuffling around. This is H1Z1, and I am slightly terrified for my life right now because I have no idea what to expect. Actually, I do kind of know what to expect. I have played this game a little bit before, but I did have some issues recording it for some reason or another. Who is this? I keep hearing someone running around. I wonder if I can scare them. I'm going to try to scare them. I hear someone in here. Where is he? Boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Hello. Alright, well. I don't know. I guess he's not interested in talking. I don't know. Can this... Can this van be searched? I'm sure it can. It's a wrecked van. And there's nothing in it! Actually, I did learn a few things earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But yes, this is H1Z1. And, uh... Gotta say... I'm... I'm not really that impressed with it right now. Um... I'm sure I will be eventually. Some more people just... Standing around and running around. The fuck? What the hell happened here? I wish I could zoom in. But I can't. Alright, so I'm not exactly sure on what's going on, why these zombies aren't really doing anything. Um, I'm not exactly sure on where to go. I mean, I know I don't spawn with a map or anything like that, or at least I, I'm pretty sure I don't spawn with a map. But I did learn a few things earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and show off a few things, I guess. I mean, the title of this video is The Road to Nowhere. Or just road to nowhere, if you want to be a, if a little, you know, specific on that. Oh my god, look at this. Sony product placement in a Sony game. I would have never thought I would see the day. And then you got this average hotel painting. What the fuck? I gotta admit, there are some pretty creepy sounds in the game. Um, why can't, okay, there we go, but yeah, you just go up to these little, these little trees right here, you see it like, uh, like these kind of trees, right there, and then you just hit E, and you collect wooden sticks, and I'm gonna show you what we can do with the wooden sticks here in just a second. One of the things that you want to make sure you do when you first log into any server let's find some berries wood sticks wood sticks yeah you can get wood sticks from these little short shrubs too but I'll show you why you want to get the wood sticks just in case you don't know okay so as far as berries now I was really lost in the beginning when I started playing this because I was like well where the fuck do you find food at because, you know, in DayZ, you can go around and, uh, I think it's berries that you can pick from the bushes. I mean, I've never picked them before. I think maybe I did once, but that was a long time ago. But as you can see right here, get the light. Jesus Christ. But yeah, as you can see right there in the light, and it's not going to stay still. But these are the berries. You just have to come, come through and hit E. And you'll start to collect berries. So we're just going to go through and collect as many berries 
as we can because I mean they said that they did fix the uh, issue of you know your hydration and your food going down they said that they fixed that issue but I really don't think that they did it still still goes down pretty quickly see 71 and 71 and since we picked up all these blackberries we're gonna go ahead and eat at least so hopefully we get back up to a hundred percent so I think it said we had 13 of them so I'm gonna go ahead and eat I'm just gonna eat until I'm as close to a hundred percent as I can be see I mean it, it just goes down consistently because it went from uh, 82 to 81 as I was in the middle of eating and then it went back up to 83 so I don't know why but it's just like that kind of shit just I don't know but see this also uh, regenerates your hydration as well because I mean obviously they're berries so they have juices to them so it helps out there as well and I think this might be the first time I've seen either one of these over 90 percent so we're doing pretty good here for our uh, our first life on this server. I have played on a few other servers before. Um, the first one I played on was actually because they have PvP and PVE. Uh, the first one I played on was a PVE one just to kind of get the get a feel for you know what I'm what I'm gonna be playing and all that kind of stuff. And right now we're on a PvP server. Can't exactly remember the name of it, but it's some PvP server in. United States obviously cuz that's where I am uh, let's see we got enough sticks I do want to get some more berries and we're gonna find these down here yeah they're like all these bushes over here are berries so you just want to run through hit E until you collect as many black berries as you can It'll also say you pick up, uh, where's it at? Branches. Yeah, right here. These two. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what to do with those in just a second. But let's keep eating the blackberries till we're up to 100% on our food and drink. And eventually, or at least hopefully eventually, they'll add an eat, uh, or an, at least an option to where if you have a specific quantity of something hopefully it'll say you know uh, eat you know whenever you right click it, it'll say eat and then you can select the quantity hopefully they'll add that kind of shit in and if they don't and if somebody who develops the game happens to come across this video add something like that if it's not already in yeah I don't know why you'd be watching my video but yeah um Let's see, we'll just go ahead and get some more berries for the road. Since, you know, they replenish everything that we're going to need. I dropped a branch. Oh, no. Branches aren't really that useful to me at the moment. Keep getting some berries. I'll be picking them berries, bro. Picking those berries. Alright. I keep saying I dropped a branch, but I really don't care. The branches are not that big a deal. We're not here for the branches. We're here for the berries. Okay. And see, they, they are a little buggy, because, you know, sometimes you gotta be like... Basically, sometimes you have to stand directly on top of them. And then it starts to work. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to go a little bit further into the woods here. We have uh, a few survival items. And what we're going to do now is... We're going to show you what these sticks do. And all that kind of shit. Alright, so first of all, you're going to want to go to your character loadout and shred your shirt. Uh, there's a few different things that you can actually do with your uh, shredded shirt. Shredded shirt. Um, yeah, you can just uh, right click it and drop it if you want to. I'm sure that they're going to be, uh, yeah, see. 
You can be, uh, or you can make bandages, backpacks, and torches out of them. So basically, what you want to do is uh, these little tabs up here. Um, by default, it's already on your character loadout, which tells you uh, your health, stamina, uh, your hunger, and your thirst levels. And so all you're going to want to do is click on crafting. And then you can see that you already know a few things, or you already know how to craft a few things, whatever. Uh, campfire, you're going to need two wood logs, uh, bandages, two scraps of cloth, metal bar, one scrap metal, wood plank, you need a wood log, and to make a wooden stick, you need a wood plank. Or you can just go take them out of the fucking woods like I just did. Anyways, ooh, I wonder what you could do with that, if anything. Uh, but yeah, anyways, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag your stick over and your cloth over and discover what you can make with this. And now look at that makeshift bow recipe learned. So we're just going to go ahead and craft a bow. And go ahead to your character loadout screen. And, you know, most of the time, uh, or at least for right now, uh, that ends up getting dropped. And it's because I've got these... The hell is that weird beeping noise? But it's because I've got these branches in my inventory. Just You can just right-click and drop them. And drag that right there. And then you're probably thinking, okay, well, we got a bow... What about arrows? So what you want to do, drag your wood stick over, discover what you can make, wooden arrow recipe learned. Now you want to go down on wooden arrow and craft. And you want to do this a couple times because you see you got wooden sticks. So yeah, now we have no wooden sticks and eight arrows. So just go ahead and show you guys this is what the uh, this is what the bow looks like what the fuck okay all right yeah this is what the bow looks like you know pretty pretty standard bow and arrow I swore I heard somebody behind me Jesus Christ, yeah, see, I mean, this is, this is crazy. I'm just standing here, and it's already gone down 10%. Actually, more than that. 18. But yeah, let me find something to shoot real quick. Because, I mean, the bow and arrow definitely is not the most accurate weapon ever. Um, I haven't really come across any like firearms or anything like that. Uh, I know there are people who have gotten supply drops who have automatic rifles and stuff, but I don't have anything like that just yet, you know, because I'm kind of... Is that anything I can use? No. But yeah, I mean, I don't have anything like that because, I mean, I just started playing the game and... I don't know. It's kind of a weird system. I mean, I don't... I don't necessarily disapprove of the whole, like, pay-to-win kind of thing. Because, I mean, it's not even really play-to-win unless they're giving you, like, some kind of crazy OP shit. But, I mean, at the same time, it's... Uh, it's kind of a cop-out in a way, but not really. So, I don't know. I mean, it, it, if you guys have, you know, opinions that you want to share with me, definitely let me know what you guys think about the whole... Uh, pay to play kind of aspect of the game. I don't really think it's pay to play necessarily, but I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't know. We'll see though. All right, just wanted to pick some more berries. Not really. I was hoping I would come across a zombie or something. It's really really foggy. I mean. It does make the game... Okay, that's a deer. I guess I can try a deer.
Ho ho. That was way too low. Alright. So, as you can see. Alright, there we go. It, it took two arrows to put the deer down. Maybe it was just the distance. I'm not exactly sure. I thought. I thought they said you could pick your arrows back up. But apparently. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It said take arrow. Why does he just sit down like that? I don't want him to sit down. I want him to crouch. See? The, the the arrow is right there and I just had the option. I was like right back here. I don't know though. But I mean, it's not that big a deal because like I said, all you have to do is just go over to these things right here. And just take as many as you can really. And uh, go to crafting, wood arrow. And you don't have to do the whole discovery thing. Because I mean, once you've already dragged it over... It, it pretty much discovers, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is how it works, but it, pr it pretty much just go ahead and, uh, it pretty much just goes ahead and discovers everything that the wood sticks can craft, I think. Let's see, craft, craft, and you just want to go ahead and do that until you're all, because I mean, we got nine arrows right now, I mean, we're, we're golden, we're golden. Alright, so... Let's see, what did I show you guys? I showed you guys a little bit of the crafting system. I showed you guys how to pick berries and how well they work. I mean, I gotta fucking eat like a million of them again now. But I showed you guys that uh, in the crafting system and uh, let's see, the quote unquote combat with the. Uh, <laughs> With the makeshift bow and arrow. I mean, it's really not that bad. I mean, you know, if, if you're in a position where you've been hunting around for some kind of weapon for any more than 30 minutes, I would say, you know, just go ahead and craft a bow and arrow. I mean, yeah, it's not that accurate. Yeah, it doesn't really do all that much damage. But at the same time, it's probably going to be the most silent weapon in the game. Maybe, maybe the axe... I don't know because I haven't been able to find one yet, but yeah. So we're almost at 100% health again, or 100% uh, food and drink. I mean, my actually my character, my last character, uh, died because I didn't feed him or water him or anything. I, I know that sounds kind of weird, actually. I didn't, I didn't feed and water my character. It's kind of like a fucking. A plant or a, a dog I'm supposed to be looking after over the weekend. Oh, I forgot to water it, Sally, so the fucking dog is dead. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, that's another deer. He doesn't see me because he's a stupid deer. Oh, oh my god, he's running right over to me. No, he's not. Come back here, you motherfucker. Whoa. 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 Aw, I was hoping I could get, go into this tunnel, because that tunnel looks fucking awesome. Searched Rex sedan. Rex's sedan. Rex's van. There's nothing. And so far, the only vehicle that I've been able to come across that at least appears like it works is a uh, is a cop car, and it needed it needed quite a few things. I'm hearing footsteps. Oh, is that, it's that deer. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit it, so I'm not even gonna not even gonna attempt it. Not even gonna try. 